These are the documents which likely were the direct cause of Elvin Penner's fall from grace, a nationality certificate and a passport recommendation for South Korean national Wong Hong Kim. Penner signed as recommender, claiming that he was a personal friend of Kim, and he signed as minister on the nationality certificate. He was able to do so because he was given the authority by the prime minister. He took over and he moved with great alacrity to do things. A problem developed because at that time, Penner had not been given the authority, as I recollect, to sign nationality certificates. And Penner complained to me over and over again that he felt as though he were a fifth wheel to a wagon, that he was Minister of State, but that he had absolutely no authority. And he asked that he be brought more into the picture, that his position as a duly elected representative and as a constitutionally appointed Minister of State in the ministry be respected. He particularly asked that he be allowed to sign, that he be given the power to sign nationality certificates. It's very likely that Elvin Penner had a very good reason for pleading for the authority to sign. Likely, many good reasons, the reasons that fold and can be stashed away. He was given the authority to sign and sign he did on all manner of nationality certificates long before the name Wang Hong Kim ever surfaced. Here's Penner's signature on nationality certificates for Zong Zhong Yang and Xu Zihu. Remember, we went looking for these new citizens to welcome them, but the address listed on the documents was an empty lot. And then there was Jalal Ibrahimi, a Dubai national who had his certificate signed by Elvin Penner. His address is listed ambiguously as South End, Corozal Tong. Our inquiries have found no such person known in that area. And there were many more. In fact, if the numbers listed on the nationality certificates are taken in order, Penner signed more than 280 in two weeks. And Elvin Penner was also a champion multitasker. When not busy recommending good friends for passports and signing nationality certificates for persons who cannot be found, Penner was also recommending visas for Chinese nationals hand over fist. His name has come up repeatedly, week after week, in memos written from CEO Candelaria Saldiver to Director of Immigration Maria Marin, lists of Chinese nationals recommended by Penner. It's amazing that the former Minister of State was able to find time to do anything else. In one week in June, he facilitated 17 visas for Chinese nationals. Between May and July 2013, Penner recommended visas for 48 Chinese nationals. We assume he was personal friends with them, on the same basis as Wong Hong Kim perhaps. So where does the Prime Minister stand on this issue? We guess he stands wherever is convenient at the time. On October 10, 2013, this was his stance. I have also said that I understand that politicians have friends and I know that processes can be slow. If a minister says, well, you know, I did ask the immigration department to bring some speed to the processing of an application for a visa for a friend. It is entirely legitimate, as minister I satisfied myself that the application for the visa was in order. I can't say that that is not to happen. But if I hear you intervene 10 times, and I hear you intervene 20 times, and, you hear, and I hear you intervene 50, what am I to think except that you're involved in a hustle? Should I hang out with Alibaba, you must be one of the 40 thieves, you know. But on November 27, 2013, he stood in a different spot entirely. Man, what you have produced is, in my view, 
not even remotely close to a smoking gun. On the face of it, ministers are entitled and perhaps obliged to write letters of recommendation. And like we told you, with all the visa recommendations ministers were doing, it's a marvel that they found time to do anything else. Mike Rodon for News 5.